Hey folks, welcome to the channel. I'm Don. This is Rock in the Country. If you're new here, welcome aboard. We're a pretty friendly, knowledgeable group collectively about non-pop country music. Could be bluegrass, could be Texas red dirt, could be Texas swing, Cajun, folk, western, non-pop country. They fit in the country umbrella. Terry Wood up in Canada sent me this hat actually a couple of years ago. So thank you for that again, Terry. Uh, but he made a gift to the channel for me to do Nancy Griffith's song, From a Distance. Thank you for this gift. I'm not sure if I know the song. I don't think I know Nancy's rendition of it, but we're going to see. Didn't Bette Midler do From a Distance? Somebody did. But let's see um, if it's the same song. Here we go. Now, whenever they start with piano like this, it'll be poignant. From a distance, the world looks blue and green, yeah. and the snow capped mountains white. She's got an accent here. From a distance, the ocean meets the stream, and the eagle takes to flight. From a distance, there is harmony, and it echoes to the land. It's the voice of hope. It's the oh. voice of peace. It's the voice of every man. Do you ever notice when you're flying and you look down, it just looks so peaceful and friendly from 35,000 feet? We know the the reality back on land, it's chaos and all this stuff, but it does. It's like from outer space or you see images from outer space, the telescopes and stuff. It just looks so, you know, Carl Sagan's uh, speck of dust in a sunbeam, suspended in a sunbeam. And it just looks like it could be so friendly. From my Sounds young here. There are no guns, no bombs, no diseases, no hungry mouths to feed. Yeah. From a distance, we are instruments marching in a common. Even if he wasn't, it's good to do good for others. written from a distance there is harmony and it echoes through the land it's the hope of hope it's the love of love it's the heart of every man it's the hope of 
后。I wonder when this song was written and what age Nancy was when she sang this because she sounded young in this like 12 or 13 kind of young it didn't sound like her voice had developed yet and that's part of the beauty of it if I have that right that's part of the beauty of it when you hear a young person singing these sorts of lyrics it's because that's the kind of world you'd love for them to live in even if you can't envision it for yourself you can envision it for younger ones and war is just one of those things, and I'm not the only one, obviously. The songwriter felt this way. It's, you're like, why? And that why needs to be in context. Okay, somebody bombed you. All right, get it. Now we're going to fight back. That's the immediate why. But the bigger why is, why do we do this to each other in the first place? What happened? How did we make the world a less safe place. Maybe it was always this way. You know, then you get into the, are we alone here? Is there God? Is, you know, the atheist, religionist debate and, and all that. But no matter how you look at it, it's, uh, it's just sad what we do to each other. What is that Pink Floyd song? It's sort of, it, mumbled at a certain point but like good manners don't co cost nothing and just simple things and it kind of makes the world a nicer place but in one sense we're too far gone now to sort of not be on guard against others and then second order of thinking is I may not have anything at all against you but I don't know if you're holding bad thoughts about me and so I'm a little bit guarded. I don't want bad things for you, but I can't get as close to you as I might like, perhaps as a friend, because I don't know what, say, the media has put out there or the government has put out there ideas in your head about me. And that can keep us divided. But other, um, but this, a song of hope, it's also partly a song of, of fear, like pay attention, because if you believe in God and that there's judgment day, then God is watching you from a distance. All right. And that distance plays twice into this song from from a distance. Everything looks fine. Um, and it does. It, it, it's amazing. I took private pilots lessons year, um, years ago and I didn't get my private pilot's license because I went up going back to college. Even from 2,500 feet in a little Cessna 152 and you look down and it just looks peaceful. And then from 35,000 feet, it looks even more peaceful. And then from whatever, whatever the heavenly perch would be, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I think I saw somewhere, what, what did I read this years ago? This just popped into my head. They're like, a smile requires something like 14 muscles for a smile, and a frown requires like 35. Those numbers are unquestionably off specifically, but the principle is the same, that it's just, you get the love that you allow, that's part of it, but... Terry, again, you spun me out on this one, man. I've heard this song, too, but it wasn't by Nancy, I'm pretty sure. But I'm going to rate this song. And I, I know Jeff Kaplan, he's like my alter conscience on these things. but And he's probably going to track me down on this, but not for the reasons he's expecting. I'm giving this a 9.1. That's the number that popped into my head. It's just a beautifully themed song. All right, Terry, thank you for that, my friend. Thank you for the hat again. Hello to all our great white northern or northern, what do they call the great white northern because it snows up there now stuff, but uh, Canadians. Have a great day. I'll see you on another video. I'll keep rocking the country.